for Tua Tungo Valor. Tua is a magician. He's a magician. He's a dog. Great football player, great teammate. And it's a wide open. Berrios. What a day for Tua Tungo Valor. The objective of the passing game is simple. Throw with timing into vacancies on the field while your target simultaneously occupies that space. Okay, maybe it's not that simple, but there are two key traits to execute that formula, and they are anticipation and accuracy. Throw in the chaos of the modern NFL pass rusher, and it's the ability to have those two things, the accuracy and anticipation, while remaining unbothered amidst the chaos. That is the definition of arm talent, and it happens faster than you can blink. Pair that with 5G speed processing, and that's how you get big time throw after big time throw after big time throw. Not that that's anything new for this quarterback. Roger Coma is in the backfield. And they go to the end zone and caught Hill. Touchdown! Touchdown! Miami has taken the lead! But it takes a lot more than just a talented arm to play this game at a high level. And I'm going to show you why the passing leaderboard is littered with QB1's name. Thanks to an elite ability to manipulate, anticipate, and put the ball through the proverbial tire swing, let's go to the video. We're gonna go back to this game against the Denver Broncos in week three and show you a couple of things we talked about in the open regarding space, which is where they're gonna work on the field right here, and timing of Tua with one of his best receivers, Tyreek Hill. Let's go ahead and roll this tape here. And the innocuous aspect of the position, the ball fakes, the ball handling, all of that plays a part in how this quarterback is able to move the defense and create the space that Mike McDaniel wants to create in this offensive structure. And the reason this is so impressive from Tua, he turns his back to the defense right away at the start of the snap. And Tyreek's speed to push up the field obviously creates some space in the defense to get their depth and run off the football and create these vacancies of space in the middle of the defense. Go ahead and roll the tape here. Tua gets what he wants from the defense, sends Berrios in motion, fakes the handoff to Raheem Mostert running right, creates that space, working off the conflict defender here, the linebacker that he's working in this part of the field, the hook zone across the field, and then replace those guys with the football. And Tua's footwork here is just so pure and so smooth, so mechanically proficient. You see he comes off that fake handoff, and it's one more hitch, and the ball is out. Put that on the clock real quick for me, you guys. That ball's out in less than two seconds, 16 yards down the field with a play-action fake in hand. This quarterback is processing at a super fast pace, and he's getting the ball out even faster with the physical skills. Second down in 10. Tonga by Lola. A laser caught Hill. Slices inside. We're going to go back to week one for something of a laughable throw here from Tua as Tua sends Savan Ahmed motion here to the bunch to give him a quads look. Four receivers by one there to the opposite side of the field. And you're gonna have all kinds of mess right here with the Chargers defense. A lot to sort through in terms of where is this football gonna go? How does this route concept attack this coverage? And I want you to focus on one defender, this linebacker right here, because these underneath routes are going to hold these defenders. And then Tyreek's speed creates this space with the safety playing 25 yards off the football. It's always helpful to have speed at the receiver position. Let's go ahead and roll it right here. Tua is working off of this linebacker, this conflict defender, the guy that you want to manipulate into space to create space somewhere else. And you're seeing Tua read that defender. Once he flips his hips to the sideline and shows that outside leverage, he knows he has no chance. Tua knows he has no chance to catch up with this in-breaking route from Tyreek because Tyreek, one of the fastest players the league has ever seen, going against a linebacker who has his back turned, good luck and good night nurse. This ball comes out fast and the accuracy, the location, that paired with the timing and anticipation, that's how you wind up throwing for 466 yards with this level of quarterback play. This is high, high level stuff here and almost impossible to defend when you think about the rhythm that Tua is playing in right now with his receiving core, second year in the offense. Let's go ahead and look at the other angle here because it's pretty impressive as well. You see Tua sends Savon Ahmed in motion. There's that linebacker drifting out wide. And here comes the decision. We're throwing the football right now. And I think this angle just gives you a better appreciation of the accuracy right on the helmet, right in stride. That's how you create yards after the catch, after manipulating the defense by getting them to create space with how your eyes and your body position work to create that space. And then the accuracy obviously puts him in a spot, Tyreek that is, to run big after the catch. I mean, this is just really, really good stuff from quarterback one. Right on the money, right in stride, big play down to the red zone. Dolphins would score later on that drive. The Dolphins have made complex achievements look relatively easy with this high-powered offense. The speed, the playmaking, the ingenuity of the offense, 
All of that contributes, but everything goes through the facilitator. And it's difficult to imagine a better fit, a better facilitator for Mike McDaniel's Miami Dolphins offense than Tua Tungavailoa.